I'm so glad you could join me. It's great to see you. Have you lost weight? Anyway, today I'm just playing. I have a bunch of plastic pipe that I've used to make column pipe soap uh, tubes with. And it just occurred to me to why not use them to create a custom mold by simply stacking them inside my cheap Amazon silicone mold. So I basically just built a pyramid. I have six pipes there, one on top of the other, and I'm gonna pour the soap that will create that shape. Then once it's solidified, I turn it over and then fill it with another color. I didn't put a whole lot of thought into the color or what I was making because this was just a test to see if this idea would even work. And it did. You could use this in many different ways, right? To create clouds in the sky, to perhaps use different shapes of pipe, even square tubing or triangular pipe or whatever to make various different patterns, which is all this is, right? There's nothing too original about this. Uh, oh, by the way, that red that you see spilled on the pipes was some uh, hibiscus that uh, I accidentally splashed. That's what I'm going to be coloring the soap with, is that hibiscus powder that I made in a nether video. And uh, I just had mixed up some in oil and splashed it all over the place. Made a real mess here. And I, as I have in the past, made a full loaf of soap, even though I don't need it because, well, these pipes are taking up a lot of the volume. So with the remainder of this, I'll just be pouring the extra into some flour molds that I have. So nothing's going to waste. And I tried to bring this to about a medium trace. I wanted it to be kind of thick so that it didn't slip down between the pipes or the pipes float up if it were too thin. And that I can say was a success. So this is about 18 hours later. I took it out of the mold and you can see that some of the soap slipped down beside, but nothing too bad. I do have to do a little surgery here on the uh, soap where it has slipped between. But other than that, this went really well. So this is the stage where I've now turned it upside down and I'm putting it back in the mold. So here you can see the shape that it's going to be. And this is going to be colored with the juniper powder that you saw me also make in the previous video where I made the powders. So I'm using it to uh, color my oil. Before I ever add any lye to it, I'm coloring the oil. That allows that juniper to absorb oils. It just helps to prevent it from causing any problems with trace. So I hope you find this interesting. It's not terribly detailed. That's why I have edited this pretty heavily. You don't need to see it all being mixed and blended. You've seen enough of my videos doing that. This was just about the custom mold. I just wanted to show you how it actually turns out, how it works. So you can try this too. And I just fashioned together a few leaves and stuck on top. 
<laughs> nothing special here. This is all about the cut and the mold. And I don't mean to suggest that I don't care about how it looks. I do. <laughs> it was just that I didn't put a lot of planning into the color or design. I just wanted to see if this would work with the pipes using it this way. And they did. I mean, can you imagine with the blue sky and then doing the other in white? It would look like a cloud. You could even do a column uh, sun and put in one corner of it. It would just be a lot of fun, just something to play with. It's not really showy. I just wanted to show you that there are other options to making a design. So give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think it has any merit? Let me know. I appreciate you all so much. We're only one person away, at least at the time of this video, of hitting 400. So I'm going to put up another video about a great new contest coming up. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic week. And thank you again for just being you. You're awesome. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.